Hey guys, Nene here from I'm Just Crafty. So today we are working on a couple of centerpieces for an upcoming event um, that my daughter's business is coordinating. It's a Sesame Street themed birthday party. And we've been, I've been tasked with creating four centerpieces uh, for this event. So I want to share with you what those look like. Let me share the screen really quick. Okay, so we have to create these blocks. We haven't even started on these yet, but I kind of have an idea of how to do those. I believe Cricut should have some kind of template already built into Design Space for the actual box itself. And then I can just edit it a little bit to um, get it how we want it. This is the smallest centerpiece. This will be used on the kids' table. Um, it's pretty much just like a wooden square um, type of pipe or tubing. And then on top, it's a white um, styrofoam ball. And then this part of the sign right here is going to be cut out of cardstock. So just green, yellow, and white cardstock for that one. And then this. It's a bigger centerpiece that goes on the larger table. And again, same thing. It has a square block at the bottom. It has the pipe for the um, light pole. And then it has an, act an extra pipe coming out on the side um, that's going to hold the sign. And so for this one, we also are going to use um, a styrofoam ball at the top. And then I actually found these little wooden dowel looking balls that I wanted to use uh, for this part. So that is going to be our project as you can see i already uh, assembled the um, stands themselves so this is the first one and i found these are just um actually found this in the baking section i think these are those um, little like reinforcements that you would put inside of a tiered cake and it was white so i just took that and i hot glued it to the base and then i did a coat of green spray paint for this already and then for this one it's the same thing it's the same pipe here but i went to office to home depot and found this little t piece which then allowed me to put a second one right here okay and, and it's just a again it's a sloppy coat of um spray paint on it i'm a, i'm gonna actually go back over them with um green paint to make it look nicer and then I'm going to show you the little dowels. So it was just a wooden, a wooden ball. It has a little opening right there. And I painted it with white chalk paint. I still have to swing by and grab the, um, the, the styrofoam ball to go on the top. And then if you remember that one sign that actually is going to hang from here, I found these little ring things. These are, these are like binder rings, I think is what they're called. And it's going to just kind of hang there. And then we'll have another one to connect the sign from it. So that is what I'm thinking um, for that part. So that is that part of the project. The main thing that I have left is going to be um, creating the actual sign in Cricut Design Space. and so. <clears throat> that's what I want to share with you guys um, today as we are working. So if you're popping on, make sure you say, hey, um, I can't see your names. You have to click on the link in the description um, to authorize Restream to be able to share your name to me. Otherwise, you can just say, hey, and I'll say, hey, back. All right. So let's go ahead and jump into Cricut Design Space. I'm going to turn the overhead camera off because we don't need that. Don't mind my craze here. <clears throat> All right. Let me turn the camera off. I want to preserve as much bandwidth as possible. <clears throat> and don't mind my coughing, you guys. My asthma has been flared up for the longest. I'm like literally on my inhaler 
around the clock and it doesn't help. This weather out here is just ridiculous. It's hot one day and then cold the next. All right. So um, for these signs, let me go ahead and just um, start a new project. And for these signs, I'm going to just start with the basic shape of the sign. This is going to be a rounded rectangle. I'm going to unlock this. And I know that it can't be any larger than 11 and a half because then it's going to be asking me to put it on a different kind of mat. <clears throat> and then in terms of the height, um, yeah, don't, I always move my tape measure out of the way, but never know where it is when I need it. But I'm thinking probably a three inch. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Three inch. Okay, I don't like the way this curved part is on the sign. That's something that's, but we'll come back to that later, okay? Um, I do know that, let me, let me look at the picture. And actually, let me upload the picture into here just so I can have it as a reference. This is the one that my daughter designed in Canva. So that's going to be my inspiration photo. <clears throat> and I could have easily just um, imported this into Cricut and then um, turned it into a print and cut file. But I like to have the layered look um, of the image, if that makes sense. Like I want to be able to see all these different layers. Okay, so we're gonna add this to Canvas. And actually, I just thought about something. Let me resize this. I can actually take this image. Let me get a square. Let me show you guys a, a trick. I'm gonna grab a square shape. I'm going to just make it Here, let me move it to the back so I can see this one. Let me change my machine so that I can stop getting any error messages over here. Okay, so I'm going to take this and the background. So what I did was I clicked on the sign and I held down my shift key and I'm clicking on this square. And I'm going to click slice. Now what this should do is it should create a perfectly shaped Fine for me to work with. Let me delete this out of the way. Let me move this. And now I have my back sign. Okay. And I am going to make this back sign yellow because that's going to be the um, part that goes there. Now, if I want to, and actually I'm seeing this, it's like a little, it has some jagged edges that I don't like. So I'm going to just add a really small offset to it to see if it'll smooth it out. These are just kind of some tricks that um, Cricut has built in. And I don't need the offset to be that big. So I'm going to just bring it, size it down a little bit. And that looks okay. I'm going to click apply. Now that I have the offset, I can actually delete this one and let me go ahead and turn it back to yellow. Now that, see how the edges are that much more smooth? Um, that is what we want. Okay. Let me really quick turn this off. What's wrong, Nana? You got it, Owie? I am on live. Say hi, Nana. You can't see anybody because we're sharing our screen. But they can hear you. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay. 
just trying to go here so I can see if there are any comments coming through, but I'll get to y'all comments shortly. Okay, so now that we have this, as you can see, there's two pieces that are green. So there's this part of the sign, and then there's like this little half circle. So let's see if Cricut has that shape. This one sort of looks like it. Okay, we're just gonna rotate it to 90 degrees. Okay, and then I'm gonna just um, unlock it to resize it so I can kind of free resize and get it how I want it up in there. Oh, it's locked. And then and I'll probably come back to this in a little bit after we get our sign down. And again, I want to turn this green so that it starts to look like our actual picture. Okay, come back over here to shape. And I want to get the street sign looking shape. Okay, I'm going to unlock it. <laughs> so that we can get the proportions right. Let me try this one too. Cricut makes updates all the time, and sometimes their stuff looks wonky. So let's try this one instead. Is it going to change my edges? Yeah, I don't know why it's, I don't like that. <clears throat> I'm sure there's a place in here where I can go in and readjust the edges, like the curved part right here. Um, let's go ahead and make that. Yeah, I don't like it, but I'm not going to be too picky. Okay, and then now we're going to do our text. You know, resize our text. Find a font that looks similar. <clears throat> so that's Cricut Sans. You uncheck the box so it shows all fonts for me. And I kind of want to see. Which one? The Apple Gothic. It's kind of there. Uh, no, it's too thin. I mean, Cricut fans wasn't that bad. Let's see what Ariel looks like. Regular, do they have? Nope, they don't have Ariel Narrow. Okay, Ariel Black. Oh, here we go, Ariel Narrow. Mm, not really. Let me resize it down. Oh, I just thought about something. I could go back to Arial and then, because what I can do is come over here and unlock it. Then I can kind of stretch it out a little bit. Okay, I like that. Make it white. Okay, and then uh, we need the number one. Turn it to white. And let's resize it and see what it looks like. 
Okay. Can you move this down? Okay, so there you have like the basic design for the street sign. Um, everything would fit. What I wanna do now is just take a look at what it would look like when I'm ready to go and make it um, on the Cricut. So I'm gonna click and make it just to see what it looks like laid out on my mat. Okay, so Koa Street fits very nicely there. This, the actual sign is calling for the larger mat because the size is closer to 11 and a half. So we're gonna resize the whole thing. And then this one, the two pieces fit perfectly on there. So remember, I'm gonna need to make four of these signs. So the first thing that I wanna do is select everything. And then I'm just gonna resize this down to 11. Because 11 inches is a pretty decent size sign. Like I think that's gonna look really nice. Let me just come up here and get it at 11. Now let me go to make it and see. Yep, perfect. So using this it's to make the three, to make the four signs, I'm probably going to need two sheets of yellow, two sheets of green. So now what I'm going to do is cancel this. I'm going to take this and I'm going to group it. Okay, and then I'm just going to duplicate it three times. Okay, and now when I go to make it, let's see how everything is lined up. Okay, I'm going to move these ones just to make it easier when it cuts out. I don't like, I don't like my stuff like that close together. I know sometimes Cricut wants to save paper, but I just don't want my stuff touching. And then I can actually move these down too so that they're not touching so much when it goes to cut it. It's okay to use one sheet. Okay. okay so that's that one. We've got one here, the two right there, and then the sign. So same thing, just space these out a little bit. Just so my machine doesn't struggle to cut. Matter of fact, let me move this one further down so that there's more of a gap between these and the other one. And then there will be the final one that is there. All right, so let me save this before I do anything else. Koa Centerpiece. <coughs> that way, Cricket crashes or anything, like I have it already saved. And so um, at this point, oh, turn my screen back on. Here I am. So at this point, I am going to plug up my maker. I'm going to cut the pieces out, and then I'll come back and um, hop on and we'll start putting the pieces together. It'll probably be in about in two hours because I have to pick up my son from school and I have to run to Joanne's or Michael's to grab the styrofoam, the bigger piece, so we can actually assemble the finer center pieces. So we'll go from there. And let me check the chat. Hi guys. Oh, you're very welcome. It says later when, or you watch the video and have a question, do you still answer questions? Absolutely. I definitely will just put the questions in the chat and I will answer them. And then hopefully I'll be able to catch you guys in a couple hours when we are ready to assemble and take a peek at the final centerpieces.